do some uh, polkas for you right now. We have Molly grab her trumpet, and we'll do one called the Mountaineers Fel Farewell Polka, I request. Son, 
just don't know what we've done. Out behind the barn, I got my education. Out behind the barn, I ain't a fool in no sir. Oh, no sir.
Tajda, tajda, cztery godzineczki Prosi kochaneczki, żebyś mnie wypiła Razem gąsiałeczki start for you. Good evening, everybody, and welcome to Polka Tuesday, your uh, weekly getaway from a bunch of junk. What? Yeah, it is. Well, it doesn't mean the rest of the week is junk. Well, but you the can escape The rest of my week is pretty darn good. Well, of course it is. You're here with me. Oh, of course. <laughs> I'm kidding. Oh, dear. Good oh evening, dear. everybody. Good evening. A lot of people are saying happy Thanksgiving, so happy Thanksgiving to all of you two days early. You know, earlier today, I actually created a list. Did you know that, Ted? Did, we, did you check it twice? I did check it twice. Because we wish to say thank you to all our Tuesday night fans. We really, uh, we couldn't do this without you. They're just 
there's just no way around that. So we are very, very thankful for you. And we also want to say a special thank you to these people that help these Tuesday nights be possible. So first of all, the, all the customers who have purchased items on mollybee.com, that helps us keep going up here. Of course, the Booster Boys, and then Chad Booster, which is their dad. He's not only the editor of their film, but he also coaches the boys. So thank you to Chad. Also to Dana Lindblad. He's our monitor and critic. <laughs> I think I spelled critic. Yeah, right. well. Critique. I put, or critique, but he, I meant critic. He's a critiquer. Critic. Yes. Yeah, that's good, though. That's, it is. He's our moderator. He's, yes. And Dana, I meant that with all the, all the love I, I could. We also we want to thank Betty Lang, who's actually with us again tonight. She's our Tuesday night cook. We, I like that. I do, too. It's working out great. It is. And, of course, we want to thank all our special guests who have been in the show, including tonight's guest. We have Matt Tolentino, as well as Bruce Hoffman. And once again, we want to say, say a big old thank you to all of you. You and you and you and you. Wait, Ted, and the camera wasn't on. You and you and you and you and you. There you go. Now Doing my Joe impersonation. <laughs> Joe's watching tonight. Joe's uh. our guitar player. Oops, should I say guitar player? Because he's just a little shorter than me. He's from Canada, and he's been there this whole entire time. But we've been told him and Teresa roll up the rug, and they dance. And they dance. That's they dance. great. Yes. So um, people always ask me what's going on. Often this is when you ask me what's going on. So what's going on, Molly? So let me just tell you, this last week I completed a project with my brother Chad, and we put together a um, teaching lesson and a school party for Park Elementary in Cross Plains, Wisconsin. And the reason I'm telling you all this, not only to say hi to Peanuts out there, um, but I'm going to let you know that soon that's going to be available for other schools. So contact me if you think your school um, wants to have this polka program, whether to share at school or virtually. That is something we hope to have ready for you very, very soon. Okay. Great. Okay. And before I quit talking up here, I want to say happy anniversary to Marsha and John, Jim and Nancy, Harlan and Carol, Gerald and Virginia, Jim and Dory, Penny and Norman, Lawrence and Bev. That last one was 40 years. That's a good one. Well, congratulations to all of you. Oh, also, Harlan and Carol, that's 64 years. Marsha and John was 61 years. That's a lot. So happy anniversary as Ted plays the anniversary waltz. I wish I could direct other things around the house that way. <laughs> I'd be like, you dishes clean? You see, I even create song lists up here, and it says opening medley, 10 minutes. I think we went like 20-something. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah we did. having fun. Okay, it's been a whole week. It has been a whole week, and now it's time to introduce our first guest of the evening. <laughs> Thank you. 
us happy There are smiles that make us blue There are smiles that steal away those teardrops Like the morning steals away the dew There are smiles that have a tender meaning That the eyes of love alone can see But the smiles that fill my heart with gladness Are the smiles that you bring to me Just ain't her, but could she love? Could she woo? A could she, could she, could she coo? Has anybody seen my gal? Take the first half. Not her, but could she love? Could she woo? A could she, could she, could she coo? Has anybody seen my gal? Put a nickel in, in the Nickelodeon. All I want is having you and music, music, music. I'd do anything for you, anything you want me to. And all I want is. Mind you come closer The nicest part of any melody 
you And when you're laughing <laughs> When you're laughing <laughs> That old sun comes shining through But when you're crying Ah, how you bring on the rain Stop that sighing And just be happy again Just keep on smiling Cause when you're smiling Ah, that whole world smiles with you Cool. Yes. Okay, so here's a little bit of history. We met Matt actually down at Worst Fest in New Braunfels years ago. Actually, no. I met Matt <gasps> in the Catskills of New York. That's right. At That's a right. Um, oh, one of the polka weekends. Yeah, pillar. This is a it polka a, secret. It was a pillar never polka weekend. This. Yeah, we had a chance to uh, hang out. Uh, Eddie Foreman was playing, I think, in the evening. You guys played in the afternoon. Right, um, right, and right. we actually had a chance to meet in the tavern that evening and... and uh, so we actually predate uh, when, well, we don't you predate. You predate before <laughs> us. Before, yes. Yes. yes exactly. Okay. Just want to clear that up. Okay. So we got that experience. We had Worst Fest. And then um, Matt and his band, uh, Royal Club Boss Next, now that I got that name officially learned. You never <laughs> saw such a band. Oh, oh. oh you're so good. <laughs> Anyway, the Royal Club Blasnicks recorded for us down in Ennis, Texas for the Molly B. Polka Party on RFD TV. So that was another experience we got to share with Matt. He did a great job leading his band, playing so many traditional songs, um, traditional polkas and waltzes, as well as some stuff that we just did now in that style. Yeah. yeah. All right, so Matt, um, let's have you tell the folks a little bit about yourself. They did see your bio when it came up, but it doesn't hurt to reiterate kind of a little bit about yourself, and then we'll sure. ask you some questions. Well, first of all, I was watching the monitor, and I saw the picture. I said, God, i got to learn how to dress like that guy. <laughs> <laughs> the tuxedo's pretty sharp. No, my name is Matt Tolentino, like, like Molly and Ted said, so I'm, I'm glad to be here. Um, I'm also sort of a newly minted Ohio resident, so it's Welcome. a lot easier to get here. <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> Only three hours. A lot shorter drive than from Dallas. Yeah, didn't yes. not even one tank of gas to get here. <laughs> anyway, I'm very glad to be here uh, watching this show. It's great to actually now be in the studio right here this is so cool uh like uh like she said we met at a, a at the thing in the cat skills and also worst fest a few times and recording the molly b polka party yes. that was good fun so um my bands like she said everything is 
can tell, is very traditional about me, whether it's my polka band, the Royal Klobosniks, or I have a four-piece, five-piece group that's called the Matt Tolentino Band, as well as uh, the 17-piece Singapore Slingers, which uh, e even in pre-COVID times, it was hard to fit that band into one place, <laughs> let alone now. Um, but anyway, I'm just very glad to be here playing and singing. And uh, if you want to know more about me, you can visit the website. It is indeed matttolentino.com. You know, and one of the things I really love about Matt, and I've, I've had the opportunity to catch some of your shows, you are doing a live stream every Thursday evening. Is that right? That's right. That's At right. 8 o'clock? 8 o'clock. 8 o'clock Eastern Time on his Facebook page currently. It may be uh, moving to YouTube in the future, but for sure, With a Matt little technical Tolentino, assistance, perhaps. Yes, we can work that out. <laughs> uh, but he does a really neat show where he does uh, everything from ragtime music on piano, uh, a bunch of uh, tunes from the... Uh, 20s, 30s, uh, on, on, he's got some beautiful old accordions, which we're going to showcase here shortly. Uh, but um, you, know, you had a great line um, that you weren't, I, I read in your bio, and, and Molly actually wrote it down here. Would you like to say it? Well, no, go ahead. You probably have better eyes than I do. Uh, it just said that you were not born 80 years too late. Rather, you're placed in the perfect time, the present day, to preserve that music True. from the previous generations. And that's what I really think is cool about you. Yeah. I really do. Yeah, yeah. I, I grew up people saying, you know, oh, yeah, I bet you feel like you were born at a wrong time period. And at first I thought, yeah, but then, you know, you, you get to experience other people that have similar loves of music, whether yeah. it's old school jazz or great polka music, and find you're not so alone in the world. And the second you realize that, you say, no, I'm born exactly the right time. You know, yeah. interestingly, uh, speaking of that born at the right time and having interests in different things, I found out something else unique uh, that we kind of share. We both grew up watching the Lawrence Welk show. Yes. That, that's a great story that you've got on there. He was watching the Lawrence Welk show before he realized that they were that's not right. first airings. Yeah, I didn't know they were. <laughs> I didn't know that they were re, 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 I'm reruns. So sorry. <laughs> So cool. <laughs> you know, when you're, when, you're, when you're 10, you don't know things like orange leisure suits are not all the rage anymore. So, uh, and that DeSoto is no longer sponsoring, you know, television shows. Or Geritol. Yeah, or Geritol, that's right. Adult beverages. Yeah. But um, anyway, so, uh, oh yeah, that's exactly right. Uh. <laughs> all right, well, let's get back to some music. And ah, yes. Yes, um, and then a little bit, we will talk a little bit more to Matt and learn more about him. Um, but for right now, I want to get to, we were just talking about Lawrence Welk. And when you think Lawrence Welk, you can't help but think about the champagne polka. Oh, so I'm preparing for tonight's performance. I said, why don't you guys do a little accordion duet? I know, you're all screaming, yes! Oh, Especially yeah. Greg Swanson, I know you are. <laughs> um, so this is going to be fun. This He actually recorded this on the Molly B. Polka Party as well. I'm excited to have us play it unplugged. That's right, kind of okay. old style. Yeah. yeah. Okay. In a traditional manner where Molly's going to play the rhythm and the bass on the piano, and mm -hmm. Matt's going to play the melody, and I'm going to play all the wrong notes. <laughs> See how well this is going to work this is out? It's going to be perfect, yeah. yes. All right, so here Kay. we go. One, two, one, and two. <laughs> Thank you. 
champagne polka the old fashioned <laughs> wonderful, way. Wonderful. Yeah. Very nice. Yes. yes. Great playing, guys. Oh, yeah. That was fun. I it enjoyed was that fun. immensely. It's something different for you. Well, while he's got the accordion on, yes. you know what we should do? It's an old traditional tune. Let's do that. We have not done any Czech songs yet to date, so we're going to do one for you right now called When I Sleep. How do you say this in uh, Czech, Molly? I believe it's Asbuda Spot. That's right. That's Very right. good. I usually say it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes, he does. Oh, Molly, preach. That's right. I do. It's really, I, I snore like a lumberjack convention. Yes. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> All right, here we go, polka time for you. When I sleep. I've never been to a lumberjack convention. Neither have I, but I'm guessing if it had to sound like <laughs> something, it'd be like my snoring. All right, here we go. All right. One, one, two. <laughs> an old check number. All right. Well, that was fun. Yes. That was fun. Matt, why don't you put your accordion down? Because the next song, you're not going to play accordion. He picks it up. And, he gets back and then he gets to put it back down it's again. Down but let's talk to Matt just a little bit more while we have him up here. Because we're going to play a couple more songs. And then um, we're going to do a couple more Ted Molly songs after that. So while he's here, Ted, it, what burning questions do you have for Matt? What is... The era, or what? How old is the tie that you're wearing? The is that a vintage, vintage period piece? It is because it is only like this tall. For is one. it really it's a short little oh. tie? And that's part of why I'm wearing the vest, so I don't look like I stole, you know, some eighth like grader's <laughs> tie. You know? Like a Laurel and Hardy moment or exactly, something? Exactly, exactly. So uh, it's probably from the 1940s. I now, would say. you play uh, obviously accordion and saxophone and clarinet. What else do you, what other instruments do you play? Um, I also play tuba. Which what? is at the complete other end of you know yeah. all of this uh, rhythm banjo, rhythm guitar, and a little bit of piano as well. You know what? That reminds me. I would love to have you play. I enjoy good ragtime music, and that's one of the things that Matt does on his show on Thursdays on Facebook. You got to look him up, Matt Tolentino on Facebook. Thursday evenings at eight p.m. He does a, a live show, uh, live from the parlor. That's right. That's what that's he calls right. it. And uh, he plays accordion, piano. He sings. So uh, he does ragtime stuff on, on piano, mm -hmm. on the accordion. Um, 
what other burning questions do you have there, Miss Molly? Well, you're just you're very very interesting. First of all, Matt's younger than both of us by a, a couple like months. A, yeah, well, let's say a few <clears throat> years. Okay. So anyway, it's just, I just I'm 35 and a half. <laughs> See, he's just that much younger than I am. Um, but Matt, so you you lived in Dallas. You now live up here in Ohio, yes. and you've got your groups going on. Can you give us uh, just give us an example of some gig that you've had that's been very fun or entertaining to you? I don't even care which band it was, well, but what stood out to you? Uh, it has to be those New Year's shows with oh. the full orchestra when we were due down in Dallas. And I I actually I did succeed in putting together another Singapore Slingers band in Cincinnati. Nice. We did two gigs and then everything shut down. Uh, <laughs> but uh, it'll come back. It'll come back. Yes, it will. But, you know, in pre-COVID days, I love doing our New Year's shows. Oh, Down in yeah. Dallas, there's a place called the Kessler Theater, which is an old movie theater turned into a venue. You know, they took all the seats out, so it's just one big floor. And it was a party. Everybody's dressed up. And yeah. I actually put some of that on my Facebook page so you can actually see a snippet from that. To, uh, Super cool. To see it. To see it in action. And, and what's Very neat cool. about these, what I love about the pictures from your events Everybody dresses in period uh, pieces. Very neat. It is super cool. It is fun. It really is. Wow. Okay. That's something I'm interested in attending. Somebody asked when I'm going to wear a suit like that. <laughs> you got to go buy a suit like well, that. I have to buy a suit like that for starters. Uh, but uh, And I would be just dripping profusely, more than what I ordinarily do. So it might be a while. And also responding to an earlier question, uh, yes. we do not have to start a GoFundMe. I already have a CPAP machine. Just letting you know. Oh. Yes. They were thinking about it. They were going to do a okay. whole GoFundMe so I could sleep. So, so you could I sleep. could sleep. Yes. Thank you so much. <laughs> Can I have a team that like puts it on him every night just because at times he forgets? I'm like, please, put it on. Please. I will. Chop, chop. <laughs> <laughs> this is real life, folks. Oh, yeah. it, oh it's so real. You know, so of real. all the times I never thought of, or places where I ever thought we'd be talking about a CPAP machine. Yep, here on Tuesday nights, on Tuesday virtually nights, for yeah, 2,000 people. Yeah, thousand okay. people. Beautiful. All right. Okay, well, let's move on to the music again. Yes. We're going to play a little song. Actually, we recorded on Freshly Squeeze. No, Squeeze Me. We recorded this, I think. It's a recording. We recorded this song, but today Matt's going to sing it. It's one called L-O-V-E, Love, a little Burt Campfort number. <laughs> Is for the way you look at me. O is for the only one I see. B is very, very extraordinary. E is even more than any one that you adore. And love is all that I can give to you. Love is more than just a game for two. Two in love can make it. Take my heart, but please don't break it. Love was made for me and you.
You turn to the right Find a little bright light Will lead you to my My blue heaven You'll see that smiling face A fireplace, a cozy room A little nest that's nestled Where the roses bloom Just Molly and me No offense what? And baby makes three Whoa, double what? We're happy in my It's like that when I got here My <laughs> blue heaven <laughs> Proudly oh. brought to you by Cabbage Patch Kids. <laughs> yes. <laughs> all right, folks. Well, it is time to say happy birthday to all our friends out there celebrating birthdays. Check out this list. Okay, so we've got Rowan celebrating his first birthday. Matthew celebrating oh. his second birthday. Titus celebrating his fifth birthday. And Jared celebrating his 13th birthday. All those kids. So happy birthday to all of you. Additionally, we have Jerry and James, Cheyenne, Anne, Tom, Gail, Starla, Sarah, Marv, Andrew. And then we got Andy celebrating his 75th. We have Jack celebrating his 78th. Larry celebrating his 79th. Deborah celebrating her 82nd, Glenda celebrating her 84th, Robert celebrating his 85th, Paul celebrating his 88th, and Eddie celebrating his 90th. So happy wow. birthday. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to all of you. <laughs> the country song so as you many of you know we just released the country cd and i sh mm, i thought i had it on here but maybe i don't to share yes i do it's right here this is what it looks like on our website it's molly b country it is officially out people are getting their copies now um and people are liking it so we are very happy about that and you can go to mollyb.com there we go to order that CD, if you wish. And so right now, we're going to play you a song that comes from that. It's actually the lead cut. Um, we had a request for th this one. I'm going to find who requested it. Bill Smith requ requested this one. And I know Mary's out there listening tonight. She likes it, too. It's one called Rose Garden. One, two, three, four. I beg your pardon. Don't find roses 
is uh, off of that brand new CD. That is a old Lynn Anderson tune, one called Rose Garden. And for those that don't have it yet, make sure you pick up a copy on mollybee.com. That's right. And uh, you'll enjoy it. It makes a great Christmas gift since that's not too far away. Mm-hmm. All right. Okay. Back to some music for you. All right. Request from Timmy up in Minnesota. One to hear Footsteps Walking With Me. Footsteps Walking With Me. Yes. Now, we've had that request a few different times, and Timmy requested it last week, and we finally got it in. It's a nice song. The most popular singer, I think, on that one is Daniel Donnell. He sang that song. Yes, did a he great does a job really nice it. job with mm-hmm. that song. Okay, Ted. It sounds like we're going to do a few Polish numbers for our Polish polka friends I out there. I think there. we are, yes. Ted's going to get his lyrics ready. People always ask, how does Ted, um, how does Ted know his Polish so well? They assume he's 100% Polish. And um, it's because he's got Polish-speaking friends that have helped him. That helps. And um, sometimes they only speak Polish around him. And you know when you get immersed into cultures or languages, it starts becoming a little bit easier. That's usually when they're talking about me and they don't want me to know. Oh. (laughs) Probably true. What? Yes. Okay, so we're going to have Ted sing a few Polish numbers for you. Are you ready? We're going to start with one. Uh, We did this one back a while ago, especially for our uh, drummer out there. We're going to do a song called With This Ring Polka. Oh, that's right. Dana and Christy, they like this one. Yes. Here we go.
just in their senior year holding hands and wanting to drink beer both are firm in their thoughts on loving life with this ring someday you will become my wife with this ring our love will last forever it will prove our love can never die even when we've both gone up to heaven this ring will stand for you and I
medley, some focus for you. All right. Yes, nice. and you know what? It's time for. If I'm gonna try. <laughs> everyone we have a new email you can send us fan mail or even better yet send us some of your jokes it's boosterboysjokes at gmail.com speaking of jokes hey Jaden what did the turkey say to the hunter the day before Thanksgiving um please don't eat me quack quack <laughs> Hey Xavier, what do baby sweet potatoes wear to bed? Their skins? Nope, they're yammies. <laughs> hey, you've probably heard this before. If April showers bring Mayflowers, what do Mayflowers bring? Mm, bigger flowers? Nope, pilgrims. <laughs> Because it's Thanksgiving, I'm going to replace my chicken joke with a turkey joke. Hey Xavier, what do you call a running turkey? A meal on the go. Oh, that, that was really good. But nope, it's fast food. <laughs> Sorry Jaden, but we have to stop telling these turkey jokes. Grandma asked us to go up to her house and help her fix Thanksgiving dinner. Why? Who broke it? <laughs> Always get a chuckle from the Booster Boys. They're funny stuff. You know, one thing we want to let you folks know that starting next week, we're going to do Christmas shows. So the first four weeks in, in the month of December, we're going to do Christmas music. So we hope you like that. Um, but right now, we got Matt Tolentino back up on stage with us, and he's going to take over the piano. Oh, 
my goodness, I need to move my trumpet for him. It's sitting right there the whole time, like, do I get in the picture and move it? And he just kept kind of working around it. And um, this trumpet took a ding a couple weeks ago. And yeah, it was making more rolling notes than normal. So I, I brought it in, and my second valve was all all messed up. But thanks to our cousin Lindsay, she, she took care of me at Red Egg Music in Defiance, Ohio. Yes, Red Egg Music, thank you for taking care of me. All right, we're going to pull Ted back up here. We... Um, as our Thanksgiving gift to you, we're going to go long tonight, so I hope you en are enjoying the music, and uh, Matt Tolentino, what an artist there, don't you think, folks? I really hope that you're enjoying him. Um, he brings so much to our show, and as you can probably tell, Ted and I are really enjoying just being up here with him. We've enjoyed our afternoon with him as we were rehearsing, and um, just a neat, neat guy, and so we're really glad that we could bring him on. Um, I also, yes, I also want to let you folks know that all our Christmas items are up on mollyb.com. You have to go to store and then click on Chris, mus uh, Christmas music, and then we have all these, and uh, basically every one is on special. All but one are on sale, excuse me. So they all have a discounted price for you. Once again, that's on mollyb.com. I want to say hello to Kevin, Steve, Randy, and Kathy. I want to hear a big cheer from you. Okay, I'm assuming they're all still there. They're from Revolution Light Boards. They work with a very, very good friend of mine, Jeff Bierman. Um, Jeff plays tuba in my dad's band. And these are his co-workers. They get together on Tuesday nights to watch. So um, I thought that was cool. They work together. They get together Tuesday nights, and this is what they do. Also want to say hello to the Mark Meyer family, so thank you for listening. And now, back to the music. Have you ever been lonely? Have you ever been blue? Have you ever loved someone? Just as I love you Well, can't you see I'm sorry For each mistake I've made Can't you see I've changed, dear Can't you see I've paid Be a little forgiving And take me back in your heart How can I go on living Now that we're apart if you knew what I've been through, you would know why I ask you. Have you ever been lonely? Have you ever been blue?
my muslin tree But it wouldn't be make-believe If you'd believe in me It's a melody played in a penny arcade. It's a part of that fairy world, just as part of this it can be. But it wouldn't be make believe if you believed in me. But it wouldn't be make believe if you believed in me. Only a paper moon. That's Great a fun job one. on that. Yeah, that's fun like that. I like the little duet going on there. <laughs> well, folks, we sure hope you had a good time with us tonight. We we really put a lot of time and effort into these shows, and we show we we hope it shows for you. If not, I just hope you come in and you enjoy it um, because it means a lot to us to have you here, have you stay on all 90 minutes and enjoy what we have to offer as musicians because this is what we can offer. We're gonna be over 90 minutes today. Oh. Yep. I know. Overtime, double pay. Double pay? Wow. I didn't know we were getting paid. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's a valid point. We're thankful just to have the electricity on so we can do this every uh, Tuesday night. Yes. But before we go any further, we want to thank our special guest, Mr. Matt Tolentino here. Oh, you you want to make sure that you uh, check him out on Thursday night on his Facebook page, 8 p.m. for uh, Music from the Parlor. That's right. And uh, great music, uh, very cool themed uh, shows right. from time to time. So you want to make sure you check that out. And of course, all those details, I believe, are available on your website, MattTolentino.com. So make sure you visit the website there. Cool. That's it. That's it. Yeah. Thank you. Yes. So just a reminder, so Matt, we have, you want to tip Matt? We have the PayPal option. And we also have the Venmo option. Mm -hmm. And if you wouldn't want to get a hold of him, once again, go to his web page. And then I've been flashing up hours throughout the, the, uh, the time as well. You can tip us through Venmo, PayPal, and you can also send us a check in the mail. But once again, I can't stress this enough. It is not necessary to do that. It is just an option for you if you were going to tip anyway. Um, since you're not with us, this is a way to virtually tip us. But don't ever feel like you have to. This is our gift to you. And if you want to tip us, great. And if you don't, just continue to share this with people. Continue to come back every week. We are very happy um, to be doing this for so many of you. That's right. And as Motley mentioned earlier, we're going to be starting those Christmas shows yes. uh, starting next week. So uh, put your Santa uh, uh, beard on and your elf hats. Yeah. And Elf ears. So our red dress. The red dress, yes. yes. Our leaves are coming down. That's a warning. Yes. So I know some of you were concerned one time when they came down. We didn't want to have leaf gate again, <laughs> you know. Okay, so thank you once again for tuning in. We really honestly can't thank you enough. It's We love to get the emails and letters just sharing your stories. Some of you have never, ever heard of us until this COVID time. And some of you um, heard of us first in the Molly B. Polka Party. Or you heard us playing in your state because we played in... Close to 30 states now. And once we get back on the road, we'll be hitting those again strong. We just don't know exactly when that will be at this time. All right. You All guys right, are Molly, planning something, and I don't know what's going on. It is time to finish up with some polkas what? here. Especially for Justin. It's one called the Jelida Polka.
lineup for you here this evening. It's an instrumental. We're going to feature Molly right now on the trumpet for all of our friends out there by the name of Barbara. Oh. song we are okay I don't know what you're gonna do yet because there were quite a few we went over tonight yeah we're gonna add one more <laughs> my request is one called the pony in the meadow especially for Cindy sexualty in the house tonight she wanted to hear this one
Once again, thank you all so very much for joining us. We hope you had a great evening. Have a great week. Have a great Thanksgiving. Once more, Matt Tolentino, I'm Ted Lang, and the one and only Molly B. Thanks for Good joining night, us. everyone. And once again, we thank you.